Okay. Let's see if this is even doable. I'm just gonna try it like one time. I had to try this before doing the cave to the sealed gate. Sorry, the cave to the sealed gate is Final Fantasy VI. The sealed cave, which is so much worse. With all the damn doors that attack you. So, I think she has a physical attack. But... Okay, good she's doing that before I hit her. Let's use a light curtain. Hope this works. Oh, I should use slow on her first. That's fine. Holy crap, that's nice. I'll tell you what, though, I can put haste on this fool. I can put haste on all my people. Okay, this is good. Now when she cures, she's gonna not cure herself. That's very important. Oh, she has counter everything? Oh, God. See, that's what you want, though. I just hope that the, the um, light curtain lasts long enough. I have a second one, but that's all I got. Damn, she hits hard. Yeah, it's a counter, all right. Whew, this is bad. Revive her first. Yeah, more of that, less of the other thing. Oh, missed. I, mean, I am going to attack with Edge, and I am going to attack with Kane. Either do that or use, like, a light curtain. Ooh. Well, if they're going to buffer with Protect, I think she should, like... Excellent. What? That's not cure two. That's scan. Oh my god, my Japanese is embarrassing. Please don't hit Ridia. It is ought to give her some health. I should use Reflect on one of my guys, except I can't cast Reflect. Well, I'm willing to bet all this elemental shit doesn't do any damage, but what if I tried this? If she absorbs ice, she probably absorbs other shit. Oof, that's getting kind of close. Yeah, this is Ashura. Right, good. He benefits from the heal. Okay, that does something at least. Should be able to keep this up as long as Reflect doesn't wear off. I can probably cast Blink on more people, honestly. You know what? Let's do that. Um, doesn't she have Blink? 
I thought she did. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I don't see it. But I think Cecil has it. That's interesting. Alright, well. This time I'll cast the correct magic. Yikes. What does this do? I think that's a new. Can't really deal a whole lot of damage at once here. I want to fight her now because the thing is, if I beat the sealed cave first, then I lose Kane. You know, spoiler. I'd rather have Kane in the party for this. Yeah, you know what? Use Blink. Is it on. Yeah, I mean him. I'll just have her keep using. Kiraga. Actually, I should probably be more aggressive because I don't know if my reflect's gonna wear off. It might. Hey, what's up, Greg? Because again, one thing you'll notice about this hack is by now I should have a lot more powerful magic. My guys are in the low 40s. Rydia just learned bio. We learned stuff at different levels, and some magic has just kind of changed altogether. So that's good. It's a good thing I fought that Pisco demon. I think she's toast. I feel like even if the light curtain wears off... I feel like I can pull out another one and there's there should be no way this boss can survive two of those. That would just be too much. Yes! That was worth it. I'm not even sure it was worth using the light curtain, honestly. Is good because I'd rather do this fight now. Then, like, you know, have to come back later without Kane, or much later. Uh, you know what? Actually, right. I want to switch around some equipment. Alright. No more playing around here because. We gotta fight a serious battle next. Give her the rune staff. Give her the, um... Yosei one. I forget what Yosei is. Hey, what's up, Kuja? Wow, that sounds like a really uh, productive day for you. Get three... One month subscriptions in a day. That sounds like a lucky boy to me. So yeah. Even though Rosa has not yet learned Reflect, which you would have expected her to have learned by now. You know, we still managed to um, 
beat Ashra. And you find some gear and grind, I think, at least a few levels just going through the sealed cave. And hopefully I don't have to fight those doors again. And some hacks, they'll bring the doors back after you exit just so you can grind more. But I don't want to fight them anymore. So it should go more quickly if I go back through the cave again, which I'll do if I can win this next fight. gonna be like ridiculously hard for this point in the game like some other things so far in this hack that's a lot of damage I don't know how necessary this is but I'll just do it she needs to just cast big old cure right now oh shit who died nobody Miraculously. Oh, you should follow Cousin Catnip. He's one of the streamers I watch the most. And that's only Lightning 2. She hasn't even learned Lightning 3 yet. There's no Thundaga, only Thundara. Rosa, I'm just going to have her aggressively keep curing people for right now. Actually, no, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to do this. You know, I should actually cast slow on the boss is what I should do. It might work. If it doesn't, then it's like really sad. <laughs> Hundreds, damn. Good for Cousin Catnip. One great thing about Cousin Catnip, first of all, he's got a great variety of streams. He plays a lot of ROM hacks like I play. We actually play a lot of the same hacks. He just doesn't play quite as many RPGs as me on stream that I've noticed. But, uh, he does some really cool stuff. Actually, you know what? Is this going to do anything if I do this? I haven't even used Bio yet. I just learned it. I mean, I haven't used it on this boss. You, know, you would think that, oh, can I slow him? I should probably try. Man, look at Kane go! Oh, shit. Okay, that's good. That's actually a bit uh, overkill. Yeah, but don't actually accidentally use scan instead of cure too. Oh shit. This is not good. That's very bad. I should use Kiraga on everyone I thought about it. Be great if Edge can revive Cecil before Rosa cures. Nope. No dice. Well, good thing I cast slow on him, so hopefully I'll benefit from that. Go Kane! See, this is why I want to do it before I lose Kane. I would say a serpent. Like a sea serpent. Great, that'll come in handy. Now I can go to the sealed cave and not have to deal with the doors because I took care of it already. Actually, he could teleport out, right? There's also another way to exit this place very easily, but I guess it doesn't make a difference. This is technically faster. I'm not going to spend money on that expensive ass inn, but I can cure myself for free just right here to the east. 
Just right here. Follow catnip. There's, you can't have too many. That, that would be my recommendation. And, and it's worth it. Again, I watch him. I don't watch a whole lot of streamers as much as I watch him. He's definitely my top, like, maybe three. I mean, you got the one month sub. What have you got to lose? Why'd I go back here? I, I get this one mixed up sometimes with this one. And yes, I already did the Sylph Cave also. But you gotta come back and go through the whole thing again. Um, once you get the frying pan. Let me actually give her back uh, her damage dealing stuff. So, you know, arrows are, are a little bit worse for her uh, spirit, which uh, affects her white magic cure power, uh, compared to arrows. But if you want to attack, give arrows, but I mean, you know, if you're mostly just kind of playing to her strengths, like in a boss fight where you want to keep curing, it makes more sense to have... Um, A weapon on her that boosts her magic. Same with Rydia. I give her um, a rod for the boss because I'm just going to be using magic with her. But if you're fighting enemies, you don't want to spend magic every time. You give her the whip, it deals more damage, and some of these enemies are actually pretty weak to it. A fire Butte. Also, Cecil normally obtains like a really powerful um, sword late in this dungeon that's not there anymore my guess is like some gear got changed um, in order to make room for potentially more new end game gear we haven't really seen a whole lot of new stuff yet other than you know the greatly improved graphics you know we saw those like four monsters in a box for each respective rare drop summon where you have to actually fight um, a later game enemy uh, that's a palette swap of uh, their representative um, rare drop summon and those were quite challenging but we did it and some of the bosses were actually pretty challenging like at least by comparison There's a save point, but is anyone else about to gain a level? Did some of those bosses? Oh, yep, yeah. Hang on. So she's got a she's got a grind. Hopefully she'll learn. If she learns reflect, I'm gonna laugh. Okay, just one more battle for Rosa, and then we'll you know use a cabin and then save. Actually, we could probably just use a tent because we barely used any um, magic or anything. And our health is pretty high. I forget. Do you fight it? Okay, yeah, you do fight enemies in this room still. But I think not in the next one. Hey look, there's that Pisco Demon again. left, but should have pressed up, I guess. Well, at least now it's paralyzed. Oh, man. The Pisco Demon was way more susceptible to the arrows. Okay. Didn't even learn a new spell. <sighs> nope, I'm gonna run because I'll go in for these backdoor shenanigans. Alright. 
so let's see. Cure everyone a couple times, first of all. At least one more, okay. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's good enough. I don't even need to use a tent. Just like that. This is great. Oh wow, yellow dragon. This is a rare encounter. I already fought one that was like summoned by another thing. Well, I'm gonna have to cure everyone again, but that's fine, I guess. Did this counter everything? Ooh, I might not uh, be able to survive this at this rate. Okay, good. It's paralyzed. Go for it. Rose, this next turn I'll have her use a more powerful cure spell. Actually, yeah, she can probably just uh, keep doing what she's doing. This should be easy. It's paralyzed. If I can get those free heals, save my magic for the upcoming boss. That was a stroke of good luck. I don't think there's any encounters on this screen. Okay. Some people really don't like this boss. It is kind of nightmare fuel. I think it starts doing more damage as it creeps closer, though. Haste! Anybody? Or I, mean, I could cast like I could cast Berserk on somebody. Wait, hold on. Do I have Berserk? Yeah, I do. Cast it on. Yes.
This is very lucky. Really? Huh, that's interesting. Was it a hack that I played? Perhaps not? <gasps> oh. Shit. That's not what I want. I want to revive him. Oh well. Sorry, Edge. I had to do what I had to do. Someone had to die. That was kind of intense. Damn, he's only level 42. He could have benefited from the experience, but oh well. Alright, I think I lost the Phoenix down, but whatever. I can always buy more. I'm not, like, super low. Like, I'm not super low for, like, a boss fight, but I would be super low for, like, a... Um... Like, a dungeon. Alright, so, anyone else about to gain a level? Did I gain some H... Or some EXP after that boss fight? I think in Final Fantasy IV you do? Oh, yeah, she's about to gain a level. Who else? I gotta do one more for Rydia. Because then I can just, like, warp out of here. can't teleport out. You can warp back room by room. By the way, if you stand right here and you press, like, A, then you do get, um, this. Like a darkness blade for Dark Knight Cecil, who you know I have access to. It was good to have the initiative. whole lot of damage. Didn't learn anything new. Yeah, I'll fight him, I guess. It'll be fun. Oh, yeah. I forgot I have this. I could just warp back here, but I wanted to save. I want. I, I don't know, like, because you cannot teleport out. That does not work. But you can warp out. I just have to remember to do something. Rip this fellow right here. Because you do not get this gear back. Oh, custom boss rush. Okay. See, I played some of that. Nope. 
Sometimes get those mixed up. You know what? I'm gonna save right here again. And I think I want a backup save. No, you know, I don't want a backup save. It's too late for that, because I already... Kane's gone. Like, as soon as I leave, he's out. I mean, spoiler, but still. You know, I never used to do this. I would always just kind of... walk my way back out and grind even more experience and money. We don't need money at this point, because... There's no more shops I haven't been to. I suppose I could have shown off the one in, um, the Fame Arch, but oh well. Ooh. You bastard! But there's like a couple extra rooms you gotta go through if you go through the back, so you'd rather go through the front. Once you've already healed. Well, Rip Kane, he betrayed me again. Me twice. Shame on me. Actually, I should go do it first. How are we gonna go after Golbez? I mean, Sid pretty much has the best theme. I'm going to try and put Sid in my final party at the end of this game, because yes, I will have party switching. And Sid should be available endgame, unlike in Final Fantasy IV Ultima. But I get why he's not. He can't really equip any unique weapons, because they just gave hammers to Rosa and uh, Porum, I believe. And he's just, like, a slow tank. Doesn't really offer anything better than what Kane offers. So I get why they would have... Uh, Opted to put in Edward and uh, Golbez. More interesting choices. But I don't dislike the character of Sid. Funny story while we're on the topic of Final Fantasy. Effective tomorrow. I intend to change my avatar. Like, Mega Fu, the Fu Soya with the Mega Man helmet and buster. That I've been using on YouTube, Twitch, and Discord for probably years already at this point. I got a new one I've been working on. I'm gonna out with the old and with the new. Uh, I'm planning to go with it tomorrow. So you guys will see. By the time this lands on YouTube, it'll have been like a month after the fact. Mega Fu had a good run, but I'm excited about my new avatar that I just made. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to lighten my inventory a bit. Alright, well, let's, see, let's start like with all this stuff right here. Yeah, I don't need the Blood Lance right now. I don't think I need that or that or that. That or that. Ooh, nah, I don't need another Light Curtain. Not anytime soon, I don't think. That I'll keep. That I'll probably keep. That I think I'll keep just because I'm gonna get another new character soon. 
It's actually, it's not shell ring, it's jewel ring. I misread that last time, my apologies. I don't think I need it. Uh, what's this? Oh, Avenger. I might keep that, actually, for fun. But I don't need either of these, because I already have some of them. And I already have one of the You know what? Hold up. I could give him the power wrist. Oh, wait, hang on. If I do that... Yeah, I mean... Alright, I'll do it. I'll try it for now. I'll keep the mithril glove in my inventory. One other thing I want to do is buy more Phoenix Downs. Oh, not here, but actually I could buy some more diet food. Which cures pig status. That should just fine for right now. It's good to have a dash button also. Well, sayonara, Underworld. Oh, that's right, I can't pick that up. But I have to use this ship. Because that, that's not hovercraft, that's my other ship. There's my hovercraft. I need to bring this over here. rat tail I picked up in the Fame Arch goes to this fellow. Now I got the Adamantite. So I better hurry up and give that to Coco. Just before I do that, I'm gonna go do this while I'm here. Gang's widow. By the way, you're the gang's widow. Except I just found your husband and he's alive, but he's in a coma. She's pretending not to cry, and then she gives you a key item, which is a frying pan. You gotta take that and give it to Yang. In the Sylph Cave. I'm not going to do that right now. What I am going to do is this. I should give the Adamantite to Coco right now, but let me do all the Underworld stuff in one trip. While I'm here, let me go just do something else important that I've been blowing off. Actually, I couldn't do this any earlier, I don't think. For some reason, I thought that you had to defeat Odin before you fight Ashura, but that's not the case. I don't know why I thought that, but no, of course, you gotta go to the Fae March first. So Odin's, like, kind of a big deal.
Yeah, let's see. What's she going to do that's going to be useful? Cast haste on yeah, her, actually. I should actually use this. I don't want Rydia to be killed, that's for sure. Oh shit, that's bad. Do it, Rydia. Whew, that's a relief. He didn't give me much warning. The guy striking with thunder when his sword is up. Did, did that do anything? Why is he not dead yet? Or why did he not put his sword down? What? So hold on. Is thunder on its own just not strong enough? That seems different. Even with lightning, he's supposed to put it down. Yeah, I gotta figure this shit out. I'll be doing this off stream, I guess. But let me see, is it because I just used uh, Thunder and not Thundara? I don't have Thundaga, at least not yet. Maybe this one really is a damage race? But hold up. Maybe this is what I'll do. I think I'll have everyone attack except her. And, hang on, you know what? He can't equip the Avenger, can he? No. Oh, I don't have any other weapons he can put in this hand? Well, I guess that's okay. I suppose he can stay in the back row, but I can give him the Avenger. Where is the Avenger? Oh, that's right, you have to unequip a shield before you can equip the Avenger. It's a two-handed sword. Alright, I mean, this I might have to actually come back and do. But I can do all the other shit off stream too. I can give Kolkal his stupid adamantite. I can go smack Yang in the head with the frying pan. Have everyone drain as much of its health as fast as possible. She doesn't really make a huge contribution, though. She should probably do something more helpful, like, uh... Damn, that's a lot more magic than before. Or damage, I should say. Damn, same with Cecil. Alright, Rosa's gonna do some curing now. Oh, here he goes. He's already put him up. Is this gonna make him put it down? No, like, he fucking... Oh my god. Yeah, this is uh, impossible all of a sudden. Shit. Dude, if I kill this asshole on this turn, that'll be something. Nah, alright, well... We'll have to come back and deal with him later, I guess. I suppose there's no real point continuing this right now, because I'm going to try that again. There's like, all the other stuff is boring. Like, I got it. Look, here, I'll show you. <laughs> like, to start with, I'm going to give Kokel the ore. The adamantite. And my legendary sword, so he can make the Excalibur for me.
Problem is, then you gotta wait for it. Yep, you gotta come back later. See, and I just gotta wait for him to make your sword, so I mean... Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna go to the Sylph Cave and I'm gonna thwack Yang in the head and I'm gonna get the Sylph Summon, but I mean... Oh, God. Probably I'm not gonna pick the stream back up again until, uh... Maybe when I get to Bahamut's Cave. Damn! Can I even get Bahamut without getting Odin? I'm not sure. That's a good question. Alright, I tell you what. Since I haven't made up my mind what I'm going to do next, I'm probably just going to do this for a little bit longer. I'm going to take a hit or two from these things. Yeah, here you definitely should cast Levitate. I probably should have done that already, but then, oops, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, this won't take super long. I know someone wanted to see me smack Yang in the head with the frying pan, but I mean, it's just gonna be a lot cooler in the 3D edition. She has the... Yeah, she has the Fire Butte, so I mean, that's gonna do some damage. Yeah, I don't wanna be up too much later, though. Um, I don't know, I'm in the mood for Mega Man. So, here's a fun fact that uh, probably none of you are aware of yet. I might actually get back into speedrunning a little bit. There's a guy in the um, Mega Man Buster only community that um, has said, it's a shame that there's no leaderboard for... Mega Man Extreme 2 for Game Boy Color. Interesting. And this person has done a run, and it's like sub 40. And it seems approachable and doable. So, after the Mega Man 2 randomizer tournament, of which, by the way, like, you know, there's only like three more rounds left of that. Like, once we get to the brackets, like, they're still finishing up the group stages, but like, my group's done. And we, like, the, um, top eight from the group stages that are going to advance, we already know who they all are. Um, they're just wrapping up the rest of the races just, you know, um, for fun, really. That's fine. But uh, we know who's going to be in, in the brackets. Round one, eight r racers, you know. Four get eliminated. Round two, four remain. Maybe they'll have a third place race. After that, it's just the grand finals. Single elimination. So it'll go by pretty quickly. Like, we should be done... Definitely by sometime in o October. Oh, damn, I didn't use it? All right. You know, I'm gonna have to use, like... I don't even care. Uh, do I go that way? No, I go this way. Because I've already raided all the treasures. I'm gonna run because it's a surprise attack and just get attacked like a whole bunch of times in a row before you get to do anything. It's kind of tempting to give Cecil the Avenger sword, but eh. Like I said, he can revive people, he can cure status. Uh, let me not be turned into a frog. Here's the thing though, like, single elimination uh, brackets for the top eight in the Mega Man 2 randomizer tournament. Um, but that means like, you know, anyone could just be easily knocked out in like round one and then they're gone. Like, you know, I might end up racing Charlie Boy, for example. I don't even know who I'm racing against first. With he and I, it, it tends to go either way, depending on the rules. I think I have a chance to win against him, but I mean, it's gonna be pretty even. But if it's him against me and zips are allowed, I don't stand much of a chance unless he screws up. So, uh, that's not the case, though. It's zipless this year. So it evens things out a bit for me. But then there's, like, 
you know, there's a lot of strong racers in the, the, the Grand Finals this year. Anything can happen. I like my chances this year, but I mean, you know, if I get knocked out in the first round, I mean, you know, I, I shouldn't be too surprised. Anything can happen. The last race of the group stages is going to take place on Tuesday, and I'm going to be doing a uh, commentary for it with LV Creed. That's going to be Siberian Bull 9 versus RSPC. And those two have a rivalry. Um, <laughs> they're already doing the smack talking. They're, they're, they're making little trash talk videos for each other, kind of like wrestling promos. Charlie Boy was doing the same thing last year, with also with RSPC. RSPC loves to bring the trash talk, he's, he's a lot of fun. I was hoping it wouldn't do that. Oh good, it doesn't do like hardly any damage at all. But man, they poison almost everyone. Oh yeah, you'd appreciate what's going on in the um, Mega Man 2 Randomizer Discord server. It's a lot of fun. The shenanigans. I don't really need to cure everyone right now, but I'm just gonna. I'll do it again, yeah. Anyone about to gain a level, by the way? Will that help me in my fight against Odin? Well, Cecil's kind of about to gain a level. Yeah, he really should, actually. But, yeah, then Rose is kind of close after that. It's fine. No worries. Appreciate the thought. Ah, I keep accidentally hitting the button too many times. Frying pan. Ah. Yeah! Ping! Hit him in the head with it. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and it wakes him up. I can't go with you guys. My legs don't work. But the sylphs will go with you. Good. T edition doesn't make me fight them. So here's actually the next thing you gotta do. This is a thing that I often forget to do, or I certainly have in the past. I know when I played Darkness Within, which I think was the first Final Fantasy IV hack I ever played, I forgot to take the frying pan back to Yang's wife. And she gives you something for it. I don't think you can go back and do it again later. If you don't do it before you go to the moon. It's like a small window, I think. It gives you some, something um, that can be very useful, especially in the last boss fight. Nope. Oh, it keeps automatically selecting my thing at the top. Ribbon? Ribbon? Normally she gives you the knife, like a kitchen knife, and if you throw it, it does like 9,999 damage. A ribbon. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Let's see. 5139. So she has 50, 51 wisdom. If I give her the ribbon. 41, no. I will give it to Rosa. So yeah, she has 57 spirits. Because that's what you care about with Rosa. Yeah, it doesn't change. Just her wisdom goes down. Cool. Surprising. Well, that's interesting. I'm sure I'm forgetting to save. Do you suppose that Kokel is done forging my new sword? I tell you what. 
He might be, he might not be, but there's one other thing I can do before I go see Coco. Just to make sure that he's had enough time to work on it. We can advance the plot slightly. So yeah, the uh, top eight in the Mega Man 2 Randomizer Tournament 2023 include um, Siberian Bull 9, RSPC, myself, Krebble Star, Charlie Boy, um, a new guy named Snape, Magnet First Bro, and I think a guy named McBob's X or something. I think that's the top eight. So I was creeping around on some of these other racers like Magnet First Bro and Charlie Boy and Siberian Bull 9. Some of these guys have cranked out consistently better times than me. Like I was getting like a lot of 32s for a while before I started getting like more 30s and 31s this season. But I, I think, have the fastest race time um, for any seat out of any racer so far this year. I think. Someone should please correct me if I'm wrong. Which means I should probably practice a little bit uh, between now and the, t and the first round of the tournament. Yeah. Again, you don't know who you're going to get, and once you're out, you're out. You know, I could get, like, who knows? I might get Magnet first, bro, and I might lose. You never know. Um, or Charlie Boy. I mean, th those guys are both undefeated in their brackets. We don't know who's undefeated in Group A yet. It's either going to be a Siberian Bull or RSPC. They both have two wins each. Except, no, I want to pick up my sword. I forget, in this pack, can you... Oh wait, of course it's right there. Can you fly the regular airship into the underworld? You can. And it can go over the magma. Alright, so it doesn't matter which airship you take. Being a commentator is fun. There we go, Excalibur. Which I always have to do the Wayne's World thing. Oh yeah. That's pretty much about all I can do for right now. Like, I can mess around a little bit on the moon. But like, you know, what I'll do is like, you know, from when I get Fusoya, I'll do that on stream, which isn't really that far from where I'm at. And then, um... You know, then I'll do the Bahamut's Cave, and then I'll do the Giant of Babel. And that's gonna be probably what I do next time I stream it. Maybe Saturday night or something? It's hard to really say at this point. Oh no, Rosa. You are low on MP. Don't worry. We can give you some MP. Just make sure everyone's got full health first. There we go. Probably it for now, but uh, yeah, still more to look forward to. And after we do a Giant of Babel, um, which will very likely be the next time I stream it, as long as Bahamut's Cave goes well and all that, and the Giant of Babel, I mean, you know, sometimes this hack does get hard, you never know. But after that, then we might start to see some new changes finally in this game. That's what I'm hoping. Of course, I gotta try this fight one more time. I 
I obtained Excalibur, yes, from Coco the Smith. I gave him my legendary uh, Paladin Sword as well as the Adamantite Ore, which I got from the Tail Collector after I gave him the Rat Tail that I found in the Fey March. And we gotta manage our equipment a little bit. I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna need to give her that magic boost. And really, he just kills me as soon as he feels like it. I'll do something else for a little bit, I think. It feels too early to end the stream. I gotta think about what I'm gonna do. How much does this do? Is this worth it? It might be. Oh yeah! Let's see... I use haste on... her... and edge. How is Edge doing more damage than Rydia? Seriously? Okay, never mind. I guess it only happened once. Excalibur looks cool at least. Oh shit, here we go. I'm gonna need, like, Palum for this fight with his Thundaga magic. Or a more higher leveled Rydia. You can stack slow twice! Ah, oh, damn. Why do I feel like that was somehow a little bit closer? Well, that's kind of bullshit. I'd like to do it, you know, I might not be able to do Bahamut before I do, um... <laughs> or I might not be able to do Bahamut until I do Raiden, so... Or Odin, sorry. So, uh... Yeah. Maybe next time I make a video for YouTube, it might just be the Giant of Babel. So... We'll see. 